to you and welcome back. Well, one of my more recent videos has been very popular and that is about the Handy Desk. You guys remember the Handy Desk project that I made? Well, there's been a lot of questions, a lot of comments about the Handy Desk project since I posted the first video this last summer and then the follow-up video about the Handy Desk 2 that Ethan Moses and I co-created that some of you have purchased. And I want to deliver to you guys today an update video on the Handy Desk. How is it working for me? Answer some of your questions that you've had about the Handy Desk and I have some updates about the Handy Desk that I thought you might enjoy. Stay tuned. Well, first of all, there's been a lot of comments about the original Handy Desk. How do you keep the paper from falling out of the slot? Or can you use a rubber band or an elastic band to keep the paper in? Yes, you can use a rubber band, an elastic band that works fine. What I did, however, is I made a cardboard sleeve for the Handy Desk that it fits into. This is made of cardboard gaffer's tape, and I had an old Smithsonian magazine that had a two-page spread of David Hockney's Pear Blossom Highway Polaroid collage that I mod-podged, decoupaged onto the outside of the cardboard. So I have a slipcase for the handy desk, and that's what keeps the paper in. So that's how I carry the prototype handy desk in a little slip case, but an elastic or rubber band would work just fine as well. So the handy desk too, this is a product that Ethan Moses and I collaborated on. Ethan's been in the manufacturing process right now making a bunch of these. And I've been using my handy desk too quite a bit in the last few months. And I have an idea about what I'm gonna do with this handy desk itself. So the original handy desk has this nice wood grain appearance. This is laminate flooring. So this wood grain appearance is actually faux. It's fake wood grain, right? It's a laminate surface that's not really wood. But I've thought about, uh, you know, there's a way that I can take this shiny black handy desk surface and I can customize it. So what I've been looking at are various kinds of adhesive plastic films that you can put onto the handy desk to make your own style or pattern. And then I went to my hardware store and they have this magic cover, self-adhesive decorative covering that is removable and it's a wood grained pattern. And I thought, you know what? I might be able to put this film down and give it a wood grain appearance somewhat similar to my original handy desk. So you can cut it to size. I cut it a little bit extra large, larger than it needs to be. Push the air bubbles out from underneath the film. You can peel it back and reapply it several times. It doesn't really have any problems with that. And the result is this really nice organic appearance to the Handy Desk 2. It's so much different from its original black acrylic kind of industrial look to it. And of course, it still has our wonderful magnetic closure system, the inner compartments for the paper and the pen. And it truly is a portable desk that you can hold in your hand and write and draw on and store your paper and your pens or pencils. So how have I been using my Handy Desk? Well, I keep a, a Parker Jotter pen in it as kind of a default pen if I'm not carrying my other pens with me. This is my normal supply of writing and sketching pens. So I've been uh, carrying this around and using it quite a bit. And what I do is when I finish the sketches from the top piece of paper, I put them in the bottom. It's like a temporary archive in chronological order. And I do a lot of things like uh, here is brainstorming about typewriters that I have that I haven't done uh, videos on or other kinds of video projects. Here are some uh, sketches about enlarging my thermal prints onto silver gelatin paper. This is the battery cover off an, a Brother EP43 thermal typewriter. These are all the dimensions of all the tabs and all the parts. When I kind of start to fill up the handy desk with used sketches, 
they get archived into this big binder here, and this is where all my archive notes go. Kind of a neat little system having the more recent stuff I've finished still carried around here so I can refer back to it. Longer term stuff I take out of here and I archive in the three ring binder, and it's really nice having the handy desk as a product that I can carry with me around the house, wherever I go, and I have a portable writing and drawing table ready to be used for my creativity. Well, good day, everybody, and I'm over at the shop of Ethan Moses, and he has been busy making handy desks uh, with his laser. Uh, I saw the video, and I thought it was like kind of silly. I'm more of a notebook guy. I guess I was like, oh yeah, cool, Joe made a, Joe made a thing, right? Like, you, you have a lot of videos that are just like, do you remember the roll tape writing yeah. thing? Like, it's just another kooky writing thing. Like, okay, yeah. cool. Uh, <laughs> and I didn't really think too much of it. And then I hoodwinked you into designing a laser cut version of the handy desk, right? And we, mm -hmm. you kind of collaborated on that design. Uh, well, yeah, this is my handy desk. <laughs> Uh, you know, I just, I keep my to-do list in here, and, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, different, uh, like, mini handy desk drawings, and, yeah, some pre-CAD stuff, <laughs> more handy desk designs. Ooh. Yeah, you kind of just, uh, I keep a lot of handy desk material and my to-do list in here. Yeah, I think I'm going to enjoy it a lot more when I go on vacation. Oh, yeah. I will. Uh, yeah, so the, the handy desk is made out of like stacked acrylic parts, like, you know, like this one on top of another to create pockets and uh, lids and whatnot. And the original handy desk, uh, this guy, here, let me empty it out, has a lot of pieces in here that are. Um, you know, cut out and thrown away. And acrylic is surprisingly expensive. So um, I wound up with like hundreds of these and uh, from the first batch and I knew I was gonna make a lot more in the second batch. So uh, it became incumbent upon me to make some version of this or any other product that would fit in, you know, this panel and uh, this thinner acrylic panel that we got here. So yeah, we wound up with uh, this needlessly fancy uh, pencil case. <laughs> uh, there's, you know, really specific and fancy. I don't think I would have designed this thing, um, you know, on its own, but while we were on the topic, uh, there was that guy. And then I just made like, you know, a mini version of the handy desk, which is exactly the same, but just, you know, kind of small enough <laughs> that the parts nest inside each other. Uh, and yeah, it fits a pencil and like a quarter of a US letter sheet. And this guy has a uh, tab over here for alignment and of course the magnets, uh, but it is, you know, uh, what would you say, ambidextrous lid? Uh, so yeah, that's the, what is this, the Handy Desk 2 Mini? And then, um, Joe, you had one. I haven't seen it in weeks. We made some other wacky designs uh, on paper last week. I don't know. I don't know why somehow we got to well, well, just obsessively designing different uh, tablet-shaped boxes that might be made out of scrap panel that I had thousands of. Um, anyway, this one, this one's weird. Joe's been using it. I don't know what I think about it, but you know, then again, I didn't know what I think about any of the handy desks. Um, but ooh, it has a nice action. Check this out. Boop. It has some embedded, ma we, yeah, we have magnets inside here. I built it last week with Joe. Stick on the front oh yeah. It's, it's a magnetic clip, but basically it, you know, fits in this slot here, yeah. but, uh, yeah, it's got the, just it's just like a bucket you know joe's got a a pencil in here and some different papers clipped together you take one in here and you write something like uh what is this the jvc handy desk what is this the three mini yeah three mini we're just like uh steve jobs over here you know <laughs> 
yeah so i don't know do you like this yeah, thing i like it all right yeah. you know maybe we'll make some or another version of it yeah if you want to buy this product yeah. put, put a comment down below sure <laughs> <laughs> what else can i say about handy desks they are brilliant and shiny they'll solve your problems they'll make your cool you need this in your backpack or no one will ever love you this is what it looks like with the original backing paper on the acrylic, the brown backing paper. But of course, as I showed you earlier, you can peel this off and put any kind of adhesive film that you want to to make it look however you want to. So here's the Handy Desk 2 Mini covered in Cricut adhesive removable vinyl silver colored film, which looks really nice. You can store paper and a room for a pen or pencil. So this will cover A6 size paper or C6 size envelopes or 4x6 size paper like index cards. Room for a pen or pencil. It will act as a paper holder. Magnetically secure the paper underneath the closure device. It acts like a clip and now the paper won't go anywhere and you can throw that back in there and it sticks with magnets. He's not offering these for sale yet, but if you're interested in this kind, drop a note down below. Maybe he'll decide to make these, but this is kind of a prototype that I've been playing with and I really like it. Here's the prototype Handy Desk 3 covered in the synthetic wood grain shelf liner with its magnetic closure device on the end slot. I really like this particular design. Well, this has been an update on the Handy Desk project. I've been enjoying using mine, mostly the Handy Desk 2. And I do like the idea of customizing the appearance of it, in this case, making it look a little bit more organic. But I can also, at some future date, peel it off and go get some different patterned shelf liner and make an entirely different appearance to it, which is kind of fun. I really like the openness that this brings to the whole idea of creative writing. And of course, having a portable hard desk writing surface that you can take with you anywhere is part of the reason why it is, yes, a handy desk. If you have any other questions, drop them down below. I'd love to talk to you more about the handy desk concept. As always, stay creative and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now.